So here's a KVM Thunder X2 desktop kind of, or what is this, a workstation? Uh, yes, we call this a Thunder X2 workstation. So um, it's bringing ARM into the uh, server world. So we, we filmed all your servers uh, in, your, in your meeting room, which is amazing. But this is kind of like a different thing. Uh, it's, it's for developers or? Yeah, well, a workstation, so it's a standalone system for an office environment. Uh, you don't need to install it in a rack and it has its own, uh, uh, it's a complete standalone system so you can put it in an office and so basically the aim of this system is maybe for a software developer who wants to develop um, applications uh, in the ARM um, ecosystem, they can use one of these uh, workstations. So this is kind of like better than just having a development board, right? It's a, it's a full desktop. Sure, sure. Full desktop, including uh, has a storage uh, here for uh, hard disk. For it could be some SSD. of those. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. The, the, uh, oh, this has one already. This has a, a Toshiba hard disk. So yeah. the 2.5 uh, inch and it's a bunch of uh, gigabytes or terabytes or something like that. It could be hard drive or SSD. Hard drive, uh, SSD. Um, we also have uh, workstations where you can install GPUs as well. So if you're doing um, a machine learning or inference, uh, these kind of uh, applications in your office. So maybe what's happening right now, I mean, you don't have to say what happened, I'm not trying to get secrets, but mm. I'm thinking the people in the industry that are collaborating with KVM and yeah. with uh, Gigabyte mm -hmm. to, for example, when you say that you can plug in a, a GPU, mm. they're trying to validate and test the GPU and how all the software is going to work. Sure, sure. So this is more like a validation platform to give uh, people who are uh, yeah, interested to, to validate their, their software or their systems um, and kind of enlarging the ARM uh, ecosystem uh, environment. But if you want to work on the, on the server and the KVM Thunder X2, yeah. you can also just buy a server rack from you, right? And just even have it lay around. It's not beautiful, but you can have it in your office and develop for it, right? You don't have uh, well, to servers, a server. So, uh, they need to, server racks need the cooling. Uh, and so you, you need to install it in a rack so you can get the optimal airflow. And also they're quite loud. I mean the fan, the cooling. So if it's not so appropriate to have next to your desk because it's, yeah. it's quite Super loud. Super loud. Sure, sure, sure. This one is not too loud. Um, it has some different one, kind of fans right here. Some big big fans. Yeah, well, Might be this, quieter. This one has the um, active cooling here. Active cooling heat sink. It's a huge heat sink. Uh, sure, sure. Yeah, so this is, um, yeah, because you don't want to have the developers go crazy sure, with exactly. all the sound, exactly. sure, noise sure. pollution. Sure. They have to be like calm and relaxed, sure, get sure, inspiration sure. for how to solve their other software issues. Exactly. So um, this is the kind of stuff that um, uh, for, for Gigabyte is easy to make something like that, right? You're like the experts. Yeah, so we... we Gigabyte, you know, as you know, we do consumer products as well. So desktops, laptops, so we have the experience. We can also use our server hardware and integrate, integrate it into consumer or workstation, these kind of products. You have so all the parts. You, you have yeah. all the suppliers. Sure, sure. We you do. know where to get sure, them, sure, sure. right? Yeah. And how to put stuff together. Exactly. All right, so you have it right here. And all this RAM is also the similar RAM to what's in the server too, just a um, different, different design right here. Mm. Is that a U U2? Uh, this one is a 4U. 4U? Yes. But mm. you can also, it, it will also stand up, stand yeah. upright. Can we do that? It's too heavy? Um, sure. You can... Is it, is it okay? okay? Yeah. yeah. So you can have it like this on your on your sure, desk. Sure, you can you can put this uh, under, under your desk. Yeah. You can just have a nice little uh, desktop. This is a Thunder X2 dual socket desktop tower.
So it's to be seen what's going to happen because there's a lot of activity with Thunder X2 right now. Mm. So uh, it depends what happens in the near future if this is going to be mass produced or not. Right now it's a, like yeah. a demo, right? Right, right now um, this is just um, a sample. It's it's not available on the uh, market. So it's it, to be it seen between you and KVM, what's going to happen yeah, with this? I mean, there's still, KVM is still um, it's kind of like surveying an internal, the market. It's yeah, yeah. kind of hardware, right? Sure, sure, sure. Which they're using with their partners, their their partner, developer sure, eco sure, ecosystem. Sure. Uh, it dep if there's a, a big uh, order or there's a distributor, if there's a big demand for this product, then I think um, it will be available on the mass market, but otherwise it's still just uh, in the sample stage. We haven't because potentially, it. maybe the argument could be that one of these is uh, potentially kind of uh, the same performance as a dual C on desktop computer. Okay, sure, sure. Maybe. So maybe there's like a whole bunch of consumers that would like to have that because in theory, it depends what KVM wants to do, but in theory, the chip, the CPU is cheaper than Intel Xeon. Sure, so maybe sure. uh, consumers want to save some money and have this mm -hmm. instead, but it, then it would, it would need to be mass produced for that well, to happen. On the consumer scale, maybe it's, it's different. I mean, because uh, um, on the consumer side, the, the cost difference maybe is not so great. And then, of course, the uh, applications you know, in the Intel x86, there's a, a big ecosystem of applications, but for so, the young side... So maybe not consumer, but more like professional. Yeah, more more just more aimed at more software developers or who, who specifically want to work in the ARM ecosystem. 